com when it comes to Avengers Endgame, man, what the MCU pulled off here is something that is truly unprecedented in cinematic history. The extent to which they did it. Marvel Studios successfully pulled everything together and paid it all off so well in this film. It's very impressive. I think that the first act of Endgame is very interesting because well, it's not the most fun, entertaining stuff in this whole franchise. No, it's about our hero's response to the end of Infinity War. It's about just letting the audience soak in the tragedy that occurred at the end of Infinity War and seeing how everyone responds differently to it. So it's heavier, not as fun to watch. But then the middle act is more fun, where you go back to previous Marvel movies. I enjoyed this part of the movie, thought it was really entertaining. And then I think that while the third act is just incredible, how much they paid everything off, the fact that you've Cap, Tony, and Thor fighting against Thanos together, even though back in the Avengers when they met each other for the first time they were fighting amongst themselves. And then it's so powerful that even though Steve doesn't say anything, we just see that he will fight until his last breath. He will never give up. And then when Sam says, on your left, it's like, yes, that's such a smart callback to Captain America the Winter Soldier. And then that music from Alan Silvestri Portals is just awesome. And seeing all these different characters come together to fight against Thanos and his army is so satisfying. And the, the way this movie wraps up Tony's arc is done so well. I think it hits so hard that the last thing Tony says before he dies is, I am Iron Man. Such a, an effective callback to the original film, the one that kick-started this whole franchise, the movie that started Tony's redemptive arc. And then you get Tony's funeral. It's so powerful that you have this reef of flowers out on the ocean. And you see proof that Tony has a heart. Such an effective way to call back to Tony's beginnings. To remind the audience of Tony's time in the cave. Because that was where Pe Pepper put Tony's original arc reactor, that first one he built in the cave with Jensen, in a box with the words, Proof that Tony has a heart in it. And then the fact that Endgame closes out with just a simple clink of the hammer to remind the audience of Tony's time in the cave. And then John Favreau playing Happy Hogan, talking with Tony's daughter about getting a cheeseburger. Not only is that a great callback to Tony getting a cheeseburger in Iron Man, but since John Favreau is the guy who directed that original film, this is John Favreau saying goodbye to the character. And I think that this movie looks good visually. I think the acting here is really good. The end credits serve as a very powerful memorial and tribute to all of our heroes. The action here is done really well. I think the story's well told. Is this movie as tight, well written as Infinity War? Mm, no, I wouldn't say so. But I thought for the most part it was really good. The only problem I can say here is I think with Fat Four, they leaned a bit too much into the humor where it starts to feel like an SNL parody of Four rather than a serious look at depression and, P and PTSD. I think they could have handled that better, leaned more into the fact that Four has this trauma that he's trying to deal with. Instead, they, too often they make Four out to be the punchline of the joke, make him into an SNL parody of himself. Then I do think it was disappointing that we didn't get to see Bruce turn into Smart Hulk. The fact that that was all off screen, we're just told about what happened, I think that's the problem. I don't mind Smart Hulk. I don't actually have a problem with that. It's fun to watch, but I think it would have worked better if they had shown us Bruce becoming Smart Hulk in some way, not just simply tell it to us, have it occur off screen. But this was a really satisfying conclusion to the Infinity Saga, and again, Marvel Studios pulled off something that's unprecedented in cinematic history, so you gotta give them a lot of credit for this film.